Hello everyone and welcome to another tech tip. This one is all about mail merging. So if you'd like to know how that works, keep watching. Um, a mail merge allows you to personalize letters or documents um, without having to type up each one individually. Uh, it's a very useful tool, saves you a lot of time and also um, just adds that personal touch you know, when sending out lots of information and it can actually draw and pull information from a spreadsheet without you having to go and do it manually. So um, if you don't know exactly how this works and how it would um, be used in a practical way, then I'm going to show you. So I have a spreadsheet here. This is a, a class list that I made, a, dem a demo one, just a dummy class list with a first name column, uh, a column for surnames. Uh, my class recently wrote a test uh, like a short little written assessment and I have put their scores in there and I've also wanted to give them each uh, individualized feedback. Now um, I've got these comments typed up here they could come from a bank of comments that you copy and paste in um, whichever way you prefer um, and I'm fairly happy with how this looks and I want to convey this information to my students. Uh, it can be used to send emails to parents, uh, anything like that. You would then need to have different columns for different things, but this is what I would like to use today. So um, down here I have a letter that um, I have typed up, just one letter, uh, and all you need to do for a mail merge is you need to leave blank the sections of the letter that you want to personalize. So I'll show you how that works in a minute. Um, to start my mail merge, I click on mailings and start mail merge. Uh, it is a letter, so I click on that. There we go. Um, I now need to select who the, this letter will go to. Uh, I select my recipient. I use an existing list. This is the spreadsheet that I have created already and saved. Uh, you then go and find it uh, wherever you saved it. Mine is in documents, uh, tech tip sources, and it's called demo class list markbook. Um, you can see it's only got one sheet. If you have numerous sheets, you can select whichever one you want to use. Um, as I said, my first row of data contains column headers. I just click that um, and it's all good to go. Um, I now need to decide which areas of my letter, which sections I want to personalize. So I click on insert merge field, but where do I want to insert it? So first I must make sure the cursor is at the section where I want it to go. So I needed to go just before the comma, uh, insert merge field, and I'm going to insert the first name. This is um, where you will see the column headers on your spreadsheet. They will appear in there. So first name, and voila, it will go in there. Uh, I then, over here, need to insert the mark for the test. So I insert test score. And finally, I want some feedback, which goes over there. I leave a little space, um, and then I insert feedback. Now you will notice that there's no full stop, the reason for that being that I decided to put my full stop at the end of my comment. Uh, most people probably wouldn't do that, um, in which case you just need to remember to add a full stop over there. I'm now happy with my mail merge and I'm going to click on finish. And here you have a few options. Um, if you want to have a look at each document uh, for each student and edit them and have a look and see whether they're fine, you click on edit, or you can just print them straight away. There's also an email option. I'm going to show you um, what they all look like individually so we can verify that it worked. So I click on edit individual documents, all of them please. Okay, now you can see uh, my first recipient is going to be Jane. Jane scored seven out of 10. And for her feedback, she should pay more attention to her spelling. Let's just verify that on my spreadsheet. Jane is indeed the first. She did get a seven, and this is her feedback. Uh, if you want to then scroll down and verify the rest, you can do that. But they're all there. And you can print these now, and each student will get individualized feedback done quickly and simply. Uh, please drop me an email uh, if you like this video or if you have any more questions. Thank you very much. Bye.